It's week two of the pandemic stay at home. And we have a craft kit for y'all. Um, it has lots of things in there's it. There's so much. We have a template. It's a template to make this right here. It's a pencil case. What? So, so we're gonna make that. That's what we're gonna do right now. But first, this is the tiny little gift book by Miss Dana. They are adorable. So it's a little, it's a little book, and it like this is a drawing of how I see fill in the blank. Maybe you send yeah. this to somebody you know that's stuck in the nursing home and needs some something to uh, you know make them happy. Cheer them up. And then I have, have this template. A template which we're gonna cut out to be this. We had a random donation of uh, this person had saved cards since like the All 1950s. The so we, we stuck some cards in there. So oh. you can cut these apart and you can do like we did if you didn't save your watercolor projects. We can embellish. There is a whole bunch of chalk in there. So we were seeing the things where you can, you know, draw pictures or post things in your window so that friends can walk by and count, you know, how many friends had yeah. done this or that. So you go outside and draw. Play with your chalk. What else do that you is Velcro that will go to hold your pencil case shut. And then Brad's. So that's the second project that we'll release maybe Thursday. After this yeah. one. So, so we'll have the same done. clothes on. We're gonna have to have some scissors. The ruler is helpful for this project. I use some um, school glue. Use that paintbrush that we gave you last week or any paintbrush that you have, some water. That's about all we need for this project. Cool. So I, have already cut this template out. There is our sweet, sweet thing here. Oh, we need pencils. Look, what is that? So I'm gonna get a pencil for Miss Martha and I. We have to go through every pencil. That's one of those volunteer opportunities that we love friends to do. We've got template. Miss Marcella's gonna use the card. Hers I'm is big use enough. This card, because look at these sweet chickens. We like to I use. love them. My card is not big enough to do what Miss Marcella is gonna do. I'm gonna do mine out of cereal box or file folders. Cracker box. Cracker box, whatever you okay. can. There was a seam, so we mm -hmm. can easily open that up and have a nice, huge, wonderful. Cause I want to save part of this. We're gonna do another project and I want to save that. Okay. I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna trace around it. We anticipate little, little friends might not be able to do this project. That's why the chalk's in there. I want to use the most of what I've got here. So remember, don't put your template in the middle. Put it on to the side. And I'm gonna trace around it. And the tricky bit about this template is we not only have to trace the outside, but we're gonna have to trace some score lines. So have somebody hold that template down for you. Oh, thank you, Miss Marcella. And then I want to, uh, if you have a ruler, this is helpful. I'm gonna put my ruler on that line and I'm gonna push really hard with my pencil. And what this is doing, maybe a couple times, and I broke the lead, it happens. What it's doing is creating a um, score line. We don't wanna cut these lines, we just want to score them. So they're the dotted lines on your template. So I'm doing it twice. I'm putting it right on that line and then I'm pushing hard as I can and then going on that line twice. And so it'll have little indentations. They're hard to see. You're not gonna see them on the video, but I can see them in real life. Okay. So I'm gonna start cutting this out and Miss Marcella's gonna put hers down. I am, but you had said I was worried about that. Save paper. space, but mm. this paper this has little perforations. But I'm gonna try and make it work anyway, because look at how cute those chickens uh, are. I had suggested that if you have paper that is not um, sturdy enough to do this project, that you could layer it. Put another piece of paper on top of her piece of paper to make it thicker. And friends, it's hard to cut, right? So try to cut out as much as possible those straight lines. Right? I don't need this bit, and this is hard to do. I'm going to cut out anything I don't need to make it easier. 
works and I've got just my tab and this tab to cut out and it's a little easier. Ah. It's hard. It's a it's a tricky thing to do the templates. I just can't draw straight lines. And that's what the <laughs> ruler is for, Miss oh, Marcella. Nope. That ruler is helpful. I didn't use the ruler. What if we don't have rulers at home? If you don't have rulers at home, you might have a block of wood out in the shop. Or maybe the edge of your the edge of a, yeah, another piece of paper, right? Like this is not perfect line, because I cut that, but the manufacturer line is sweet. So I have my template cut out. And again, I don't know that you can see it, so I'll try to hold it up. But I can see score lines anywhere where the dotted line is on your template. And I can fold my pieces right on those lines and they fold perfectly. We don't have to have anything else to fold them. I'm doing the advertisement out front, Miss Marcella. Oh no. Can you do it the other way? You could. I could turn it. Like, did I do my... Oh, okay. You can, you can fold it any way. It does not matter. Okay. It will work. And I push it down, 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 up. Down, down, down. And then bend, bend, bend. And that one needs to be... So the trickiest part, I think, about this is that holding that template down while you do your score lines. Yeah, I was just thinking, I didn't do a very good job. <laughs> did we'll you, see. Did you go over it twice? I did, but I started to rip the template. Oh, because we... I, that's the third time it's been used. And my pencil's pretty sharp. Mm-hmm. But I just wanted to say, like, this is pretty much it. Like, we just needed to have fold it right here, and then we need to adhere this tab to this space here. Um, the original template came from another friend online, and they had said, use tape. I used tape, and it didn't work very well. It didn't stay closed very well. So I'll show you what I did. How did you suggest I add extra paper? I would take a piece of paper, maybe not this one because it's got your super cool watercolors on it. Take a um, piece of printer paper and then Mod Podge or glue it on. <gasps> Can I Dude. do that? Dude! Yeah, Miss Marcel is going to use that already cut piece of paper and water it down. Ooh. So that's why I've got the water and the brush. And get another container, put some glue in it, water it down, maybe 50-50. Paint the entire backside of your cardstock and then slap that paper on there. Go from the inside to the outside to smooth bubbles out. Inside to the outside. Inside to the outside. Use your water? Yes. And this had already had glue on it. That's how I attached this guy. I know we've got a container of watered oh, down glue. I'm sure. I think it often, friends. And then I put it in a container and I think, I'm going to use this. Miss Marcel is mixing glue and water. I said 50 50, but it might be a little, maybe a 60 40, 60 glue, 40 water. Because that looks pretty liquidy. This is why we have so <laughs> many containers. You just add a little water, add a little glue. I am going to throw that tape. I've got it all bent, and this is, this is where it goes. This one goes to this edge right here. And I said that it, it didn't stick very well with the tape. And maybe you can figure out a different way. So I'm going to take this big long piece of tape. And I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to put this piece of tape on the other edge. So if you've gotten to this point and you don't have tape or glue, let us know and we'll get it to you. But look, when I put this together... And even if I push that tape down, that edge pops open. And I felt like that was kind of it. It just kind of popped open. So I put some glue in here. And then Miss Marcella is working. She's going to put glue down on her entire surface and then put that template Just on to make it stronger, right? Because mm -hmm. you had perforations, literally perforated paper. But this card has these chickens. Oh my goodness, chickens. 
So you might have to let your set for a little bit to let that dry. It might get grumpy at you. Put so much no. So I've got that tape here, and I'm going to take that glue, and I'm going to put it along this edge here. And I can even squish it a little bit with my finger so it's not too much, and wipe my finger on something guardian approved. That's not your table, mm -hmm. even though we wipe our things on our table. And then we're going to, I'm going to put this together. And I'm going to set mine under something heavy. Why? Yeah. Cause Tell me about that. If I just do this, right, the glue just pops open. Oh. Because because that's its nature. It doesn't it doesn't want to stay folded up. It's a flat piece of cardboard. So we have to be careful that you don't have so much glue that you glue it to something heavy. Uh huh. I reinforced reinforced her chickens. And I am going to put mine under something heavy. So I'm gonna grab this container and I'm gonna just take my edge. And I'm going to put something heavy right along that edge. And that'll also help you not get it glued oh. to your container. So that's going to take a little while. Maybe 10, 15 minutes. I'm still oh my glue. goodness. Well, and I can now use your watered down glue. What? And I want to add some decorations to this one. That paper coffee filter is quite wonderful. It lays real nice after you get some glue. I on like it. coffee filters. I like them for my coffee. I like them for my crafts. I feel like we can just do fun things. So I made hundreds of flowers for my wedding with coffee filters. I remember. So. I remember. I wasn't watching. Wasn't watching what? Was oh, it? how I was doing it? Yeah, I you was just so sold on distracted. that line. But look at those chickens! Does this go on the inside? It goes on the inside. You could mm -hmm. put it on the outside though because it's adorable. Miss Marcella needs to let hers dry a little bit. I do. Mine's a little wonky. <laughs> if you wanted, we put a whole bunch of cards again in yours. Maybe you might want to cut something out. Um, letters. Letters. Ooh. You can put your name on it. I was just thinking pictures. That's wonderful. That's why we do this together. Because yeah. we both have really different ideas. We do. Oh, I like that. I'm going to even cover that raw edge there. Yeah. And if I need to know exactly, I'm going to flip it over and find where I want it. I like that carrot guy. And I can draw a line. Mm. Oh, it moved. Help from friends as always. There you go. Now I've got some lines. I'm going to cut on the inside. So you don't see the line? Yeah. And because mm. it might have been a little big on the outside. Mm. Now the paper filter, I use the water down glue, but this is really quite heavy. I might just tack some uh, glue. Yeah, glue. Straight glue. Mm. Those corners are important, friends. Working with lots of friends while they're making art, they always forget those corners. I forgot my corners. <laughs> those corners make the project look neat. It makes it look like. A professional did it. Woo! That's my tip to you. Don't put your template in the middle of the page and, and use your corners. Use your corners. <laughs> and Miss Marcella ignored that fold. <laughs> I didn't say anything about corners until just now, though. It's hard to remember all the steps. It's okay. It's still so Look wet. at it. Oh, Look at that friend. That's nice. And maybe that friend needs to have a little, a little skirt, a little skirt or something. I don't know. That's where that water down bill comes in. Though. Wherever I want this to be, maybe on the other side since that's not doing anything. So inside to outside, and that helps to not get wrinkles and bubbles. Wrinkles and bubbles can be. <gasps> My finger's sticky. There we go. And I can put a layer over top too, if I want. You don't want a ton of glue, just enough to make it stick. Ah! So I was waiting to then put a little bit of glue on that end. I'm putting it on this end, but if Miss Marcella wanted hers to be on the outside, she would have to put it on the inside there. So I'm going to tuck mine in, put it right inside there, and then I just let it dry. The last bit 
if you so desire, we put a little bit of Velcro. You put this piece where you want it to go, and then you put this piece, attach that piece. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Hoping that Velcro is not too strong. I put the one on there, and then I put the other one so that it was Velcroed, and then I took the sticky bit off, and then you can get it perfectly aligned by doing that. Ta-da! Fingers crossed. Oh, nice! We made it with cardboard and templates.